as we move into the interior of the unit, a couple things that you're going to notice right off the bat. There is a little storage under this cabinet here, which is good for little doggy bowls or cat bowls. Um, and there's a little storage door here where you can keep all their food or, or little treats. Um, again, when you first walk in here, you always need a, pl or a place to put your phone, your wallet, your keys. Um, we have a safety tech storage box here. You have shelves in here, okay, and you also have two USB ports and a power outlet. Uh, so number one, you're not using any other outlets in the coach to simply charge your cell phone, and you don't have any wires or anything that are dangling down here, taking up valuable countertop space. Uh, as we approach the galley here, you're going to again notice tons of countertop space. This is true solid surface countertop. Uh, you have a huge undermount stainless steel sink. Um, and this is a new feature for this year, so as opposed to just simply having um, a, a cover for your sink, you can actually take these out, put them anywhere you want on your countertop, and if you have any types of hot pans or bowls, you can set them on top here and don't have to worry about damaging your countertop. Uh, your sink, of course, also features a pull-out swivel nozzle. It is aluminum metal. Um, as we look over here into the dinette, you're going to notice, again, it looks just like you're at your home freestanding dinette table, uh, but a new upgrade for this year in the 2020 Sport Trex is the flush mount uh, slides. Uh, so a lot of manufacturers are still having the slide that has a little bit of a lip on it, and these chairs won't sit very nice. Okay, but now with the new flush floor slides, uh, the transition and the seating is just a lot easier to use. As we go into the, uh, the ki actual kitchen chef's galley here, uh, we've upgraded everything to a more residential look. So this is not only a flush mount uh, cooktop, again you can use this for countertop space if you're not going to be using um, any of the burners. Again it's got the nice little accented LED lighting that you can turn on and off. Um, and of course a bigger oven for this year is another thing that we've upgraded. Another thing you guys are going to love about this particular floor plan, uh, again, you have massive amounts of cooktop and preparation space, but again, as we're going to walk through here, you absolutely have tons of doors, drawers, and storage, okay? So this is every chef's, what do I say, dream kitchen, uh, but again, as we're moving through here, again, you have doors, drawers, banks of doors and drawers everywhere. Uh, you have a 8 cubic foot standard. This is gas and electric uh, refrigerator and freezer combo. So a lot of manufacturers are going to just an electric refrigerator. So again, every single floor plan of ours features a, a gas and electric uh, dual refrigerator and freezer. Massive adjustable shelf pantry storage. Uh, so, of course, we've got this loaded up uh, just for the things that we want in here. If we have any bigger boxes or anything we want to put in here, you have these shelves, which, like I said, are 100% adjustable to fit your specific needs. As we move around here into the living galley area, uh, you have these awesome upgraded theater seats. Uh, they've got heating and, and massage, uh, so that is an upgrade for this year. You've got cup holders, of course. A uh, nice little place to store any of your TV gear, whether it's, you know, controls or magazines. Um, another thing that we've added this year is a huge 50-inch <coughs> LED TV. And every single one of our TVs is on a pull-out swivel bracket, okay? So it doesn't matter where you're at in here, you actually have a player, you can see the, the TV. Um, we've upgraded the fireplace just a little bit sexier. Uh, it is 5100 BTUs and it runs off complete electric. Um, another upgrade for this year is our actual head unit, uh, which features a standard HDMI uh, hookup. So that way if you have any electronics, say a Blu-ray player, uh, you don't have to go into the back of the TV and have cords running out. You can connect it directly through here and set it right up in here, uh, which again you're going to notice just massive amounts of storage. This is not a bunk model, this is actually storage. Uh, again, in the back here, you're going to notice a trifold sofa that folds out into a full queen. Uh, on both sides of the sofa, it's nice because you have little places, again, whether you're drinking your coffee in the morning, uh, beverages, food, you're going to have outlets on both sides. Um, and another thing, again, between the storage, uh, the massive amounts of countertop space, 
look at all the windows in here. Okay, it's nice and bright uh, when you're outside, you get natural light, and every single one of the windows opens. Another awesome uh, upgrade addition to uh, the Sport Treks and Tourings is we've upgraded your window treatments. Uh, we've also added this black nightshade. Um, so again, if you're in here during the day and it's getting hot outside, you can actually put these down and they'll block out 100% of the light. As we're heading back towards the master suite uh, in the hallway here, Again, you're going to notice an in, uh, another window that does open, just gives you a little bit more uh, extra natural light. Uh, and then the bathroom here, you've got a nice big walk-in shower, uh, porcelain foot flush toilet. Um, again, all the countertops in here, they're seamless, so there's absolutely no T-molding. Uh, you have a quite big uh, stainless steel sink, so again, you don't have any plastic in here. Um, you've got storage for any of your knickknack items, towels above the toilet, and then you also have a medicine cabinet right here in front uh, of your sink here that you can put any, anything. As we move into the, uh, the master suite here of the Sport Trek Touring Editions, um, again, one of the first things you're going to notice is this standard second 5100 BTU fireplace. Um, it does produce heat, uh, and it does just add a little bit of extra ambience in here and makes you feel a little bit more at home. Um, your lighting in here does match your accent lighting above your little breakfast nook area here, which this is really cool. Um, so if you want in the morning here, somebody gets up before the other person, uh, you can do your, your reading here, uh, you can drink your coffee here, put your shoes on in the morning, uh, you can even take a little nap here if you wanted to. Uh, a couple other cool features of this little front cap area. Uh, you have USB and power outlets on both sides of the cap and behind the wardrobe. Um, so that way you can keep any electronics that you might have. You can fit a CPAP back there. Uh, but you do have full length hanging wardrobes on both sides here. Uh, but again, as opposed to having wasted space in the back of the wardrobes, we use that for uh, what we call your store more uh, storage shelves. A couple other awesome features of the Touring Edition uh, Master Suites is you have a standard king bed slide out. Uh, we've also upgraded the bedding package. You, you have more pillows in here than I think you're going to find at home. Uh, again, it just makes it a little bit more luxurious. Uh, we've also changed the back of both the front cap area and your headboard area. We've added uh, you know, the upgraded ship shiplap look. And then also standard in the Sport Trek Touring Editions. Uh, so again, with that king bed slide, you also have more wardrobe storage over here, uh, and you're also prepped and ready for washer dryer.